Here we have a single axle trailer and it weighs 850 pounds and that its center of gravity is acting right over the axle of the wheel and we need to find the force F needed to pull this um, trailer at a constant speed meaning that we need to overcome we need to just barely overcome the rolling resistance in the tire and the frictional forces in the axle and we're saying that this axle is um, sitting on journal bearings on both of those tires so what we need to do is we need to find that force to overcome those frictional forces that's what we're going over in this video if you want a video explaining more about journal bearings and their equations you can click on this video link and that explains all those equations and stuff including these two and if you want a video going over rolling resistance which covers this equation you click on this video link and if you found this video helpful hit that like button and please subscribe so the first thing we need to do is we need to kind of understand these equations and what all their variables mean and identify all those knowns and unknowns and what we need to solve for so here our m equals r little r sine of phi um, that is for our journal bearings in the tires and so the big r is 850 and that's going to be the same as the w in our rolling resistance equation and the reason why i have them as separate variables is because that is the way um, books present them and that's the way i've given them previously so just to kind of keep that with that same um, variables I've left it in that but we do need to understand that uh, capital R and W are going to be the same in this case they're both the weight of the trailer pushing down on the axle and on the ground so our little r are our radius or our radii and the r in this equation is the radius of the axle we have that that is a half an inch and then the rate the little r in this equation is the radius of the wheel and that is one and a half feet or 18 inches and then we have phi which is um, the arc tangent of the coefficient of kinetic friction and that kinetic friction coefficient of kinetic friction is between the collar and the axle in those journal bearings so we have all those um, variables oh yeah and a is the coefficient of rolling friction and that is one inch so we have all those variables and we need to find f with that well p is the force needed when we are basically pulling on the axle to o when we're pulling on the axle, that's the force needed to overcome the rolling resistance in the tire. And M is the moment needed to overcome the frictional forces in our journal bearings on those axles. And so to be able to get a force out of that moment, we need to divide it by a distance to get a force. And we'll get to that in a little bit after we solve for M. So doesn't really matter which one we start solving for first we will pick M and one other thing to mention is that we are going to analyze this all together as if it's kind of like one wheel here but the reason why we're doing that is because if we were to analyze it um, separately with both wheels we would need to divide the load between the two tires and then multiply everything by two to get the frictional forces in both wheels. But what that ends up doing is just um, dividing by two and multiplying by two so it just cancels out. So big R is 850 pounds. That's multiplied by little r, which is the radius of the axle, which is a half an inch. And then the sine and then we'll just plug this equation into here. So the sine of the arc tangent of the coefficient of kinetic friction, which 
is given to us and it's 0 0.08 And plugging that into our calculator, we get that that is 33.89 um, pound inches because we left our measurement here for the axle in inches. So that's in pound inches. And now if we want that moment to, we need to figure out what the force is we're basically, through this force F, we're pulling on it and that force transfers through this, act, through this rod and into, through the spring and onto that axle. So we're basically pulling on that axle and the ground is basically pulling that way on the tire. And so there's a moment right here about the axle and the end of the tire. And that moment is our frictional forces on our journal bearing that we're looking at. And so to find the force that um, needs to overcome those that moment is going to be that moment divided by the distance or the radius of the wheel. So this force that we need is M divided by one and a half feet, which we will convert into inches because our moment is in pound inches. So divided by 18, plug that into your calculator and you get that that is 1.88 um, pounds. So there's our force. Now we're gonna find the force P need to, needed to overcome the rolling resistance. So P approximately equals um, W which is 850 times by A, which is one, one inch divided by R, which is the radius of the wheel, which we said was 18 inches. Plug that into your calculator and you get that that equals 47, .22 pounds. So that's quite a bit more than the frictional forces in um, our journal bearings. So add those two up, add 1.88 onto that, and we get that that is 49.01 pounds. So almost 50 pounds to be able to pull this trailer at a constant speed and therefore overcoming those frictional forces. So there's a pretty simple example problem combining both frictional forces in journal bearings and rolling resistance and I hope you found this helpful. If you did hit that like button. If you have any questions or suggestions leave them down in the comments and I will reply to them. Um, also down in the description I've got some links to Amazon Teespring where you can buy some merch from student engineering like this shirt. We've got the student engineering logo on shirts, hoodies, mugs, stickers, and other things, and buying that helps me out a lot. I've also got my website up and going, gostudentengineering.com. There's a link also down in the description to that. And on there, I've got all my videos, plus some descriptions written out for those concepts, going over those in a little bit more detail, but written out. So if you're new to this channel, my name is Preston Palmer with Student Engineering. And my goal is to help other engineering students like me better understand engineering. So if you found this video helpful, hit that like button and please subscribe.